The most distinguished order of St. Michael and St. George is a British order of chivalry founded on 28 April 1818 by George, Prince Regent, later King George IV, while he was acting as regent for his father, King George III. It is named in honour of two military saints, St. Michael and St. George. The Order of St. Michael and St. George was originally awarded to those holding commands or high position in the Mediterranean territories acquired in the Napoleonic Wars, and was subsequently extended to holders of similar office or position in other territories of the British Empire. It is at present awarded to men and women who hold high office or who render extraordinary or important non-military service in a foreign country, and can also be conferred for important or loyal service in relation to foreign and Commonwealth affairs. <laughs> Description The order includes three classes, in descending order of seniority and rank. Knight Grand Cross or Dame Grand Cross GCMG. Knight Commander KCMG or Dame Commander DCMG. Companion CMG. It is used to honor individuals who have rendered important services in relation to Commonwealth or foreign nations. People are appointed to the order rather than awarded it. British ambassadors to foreign nations are regularly appointed as KCMGs or CMGs. For example, the former British ambassador to the United States, Sir David Manning, was appointed a CMG when he worked for the British Foreign and Commonwealth Office FCO, and then after his appointment as British ambassador to the US, he was promoted to a Knight Commander KCMG. It is the traditional award for members of the FCO. The order's motto is Auspicium Melioris Evi, Latin for "token of a better age." Its patron saints, as the name suggests, are Saint Michael the Archangel and Saint George, patron saint of England. One of its primary symbols is that of Saint Michael trampling over and subduing Satan in battle. The Order is the sixth most senior in the British Honours System, after the Most Noble Order of the Garter, the Most Ancient and Most Noble Order of the Thistle, the Most Illustrious Order of St. Patrick, the Most Honourable Order of the Bath, and the Most Exalted Order of the Star of India. The third of the aforementioned orders, which relates to Ireland, no longer fully a part of the United Kingdom, still exists but is in disuse, no appointments have been made to it since 1936. The last of the orders on the list, related to India, has also been in disuse since that country's independence in 1947. History The Prince Regent founded the order to commemorate the British Amical Protectorate over the Ionian Islands, which had come under British control in 1814 and had been granted their own constitution as the United States of the Ionian Islands in 1817. It was intended to reward natives of the Ionian Islands and of the island of Malta and its dependencies, and for such other subjects of His Majesty as may hold high and confidential situations in the Mediterranean." In 1864, however, the protectorate ended and the Ionian Islands became part of Greece. A revision of the basis of the order in 1868, saw membership granted to those who "...hold high and confidential offices within Her Majesty's colonial possessions, and in reward for services rendered to the Crown in relation to the foreign affairs of the Empire." 
Accordingly, numerous governors general and governors feature as recipients of awards in the order. In 1965 the order was opened to women, with Evelyn Bark becoming the first female CMG in 1967. Topic. Composition The British Sovereign is the Sovereign of the Order and appoints all other members of the Order, by convention, on the advice of the government. The next most senior member is the Grand Master. The office was formerly filled by the Lord High Commissioner of the Ionian Islands, now, however, Grand Masters are chosen by the Sovereign. Grand Masters include 1818–1825, Sir Thomas Maitland 1825–1850, Prince Adolphus, Duke of Cambridge 1850–1904, Prince George, Duke of Cambridge 1904–1910, George, Prince of Wales 1910–1917, Nunn 1917–1936, Edward, Prince of Wales 1936–1957, Alexander Cambridge, 1st Earl of Athlone 1957–1959, Edward Wood, 1st Earl of Halifax 1959 to 1967, Harold Alexander, First Earl Alexander of Tunis. 1967 present, Prince Edward, Duke of Kent. The order originally included 15 Knights Grand Cross, 20 Knights Commanders, and 25 Companions, but has since been expanded, and the current limits on membership are 125. 375, and 1,750 respectively. Members of the royal family who are appointed to the order do not count towards the limit, nor do foreign members appointed as honorary members. <laughs> <laughs> Officers The order has six officers. The Order's King of Arms is not a member of the College of Arms, like many other heraldic officers. The Usher of the Order is known as the Gentleman or Lady Usher of the Blue Rod. Blue Rod does not, unlike the Usher of the Order of the Garter, perform any duties related to the House of Lords. Prelate, the R.T. Rev. David Urquhart, Bishop of Birmingham, Chancellor, Right Honourable. Lord Robertson of Port Ellen. Secretary, Sir Simon MacDonald. Registrar, Sir David Manning. King of Arms, Sir Jeremy Greenstock. Lady Usher of the Blue Rod, Dame Deanne Julius. Topic. Habit and insignia Members of the order wear elaborate regalia on important occasions such as coronations, which vary by rank. The mantle, worn only by knights and dames Grand Cross, is made of Saxon blue satin lined with crimson silk. On the left side is a representation of the star see below. The mantle is bound with two large tassels. The collar, worn only by knights and dames Grand Cross, is made of gold. It consists of depictions of crowned lions, Maltese crosses, and the ciphers SM and SG, all alternately. In the center are two winged lions, each holding a book and seven arrows. At less important occasions, simpler insignia are used. The star is an insignia used only by Knights and Dames Grand Cross and Knights and Dames Commanders. It is worn pinned to the left breast. 
The Knight and Dame Grand Cross Star includes seven armed, silver rayed Maltese asterisk for want of a better description. See image of badge, with a gold ray in between each pair of arms. The Knight and Dame Commander Star is a slightly smaller eight-pointed silver figure formed by two Maltese crosses, it does not include any gold rays. In each case, the star bears a red cross of St. George. In the center of the star is a dark blue ring bearing the motto of the order. Within the ring is a representation of St. Michael trampling on Satan. The badge is the only insignia used by all members of the order, it is suspended on a blue crimson blue ribbon. Knights and Dames Grand Cross wear it on a ribbon or sash, passing from the right shoulder to the left hip. Knights Commanders and Male Companions wear the badge from a ribbon around the neck, Dames Commanders and Female Companions wear it from a bow on the left shoulder. The badge is a seven-armed, white enameled Maltese asterisk see Maltese cross, the obverse shows Saint Michael trampling on Satan, while the reverse shows Saint George on horseback killing a dragon, both within a dark blue ring bearing the motto of the order, on certain collar days. Designated by the sovereign, members attending formal events may wear the order's collar over their military uniform or morning wear. When collars are worn, either on collar days or on formal occasions such as coronations, the badge is suspended from the collar. All collars which have been awarded since 1948 must be returned to the Central Chancery of the Orders of Knighthood. The other insignia may be retained. Topic: <laughs> Chapel. The original home of the order was the Palace of Saint Michael and Saint George in Corfu, the residence of the Lord High Commissioner of the Ionian Islands and the seat of the Ionian Senate. Since 1906, the Order's Chapel has been in St. Paul's Cathedral in London. The cathedral also serves as home to the chapels of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire and the Imperial Society of Knights Bachelor. Religious services for the whole order are held quadrennially. New Knights and Dames Grand Cross are installed at these services. The Sovereign and the Knights and Dames Grand Cross are allotted stalls in the choir of the chapel, above which their heraldic devices are displayed. Perched on the pinnacle of a knight's stall is his helm, decorated with a mantling and topped by his crest. Under English heraldic law, women other than monarchs do not bear helms or crests, instead, the coronet appropriate to the dame's rank, if there is one, is used. Above the crest or coronet, the stall's occupant's heraldic banner is hung, emblazoned with his or her coat of arms. At a considerably smaller scale, to the back of the stall is affixed a piece of brass a stall plate", displaying its occupant's name, arms and date of admission into the order. Upon the death of a knight, the banner, helm, mantling and crest are taken down. The stall plates, however, are not removed, rather, they remain permanently affixed somewhere about the stall, so that the stalls of the chapel are festooned with a colourful record of the Order's Knights and Dames Grand Cross since 1906. The reredos within the chapel were commissioned from Henry Poole in 1927. Topic. Precedents and privileges Members of the Order of St. Michael are assigned positions in the Order of Precedence in England and Wales. 
Wives of male members also feature on the order of precedence, as do sons, daughters and daughters-in-law of Knights Grand Cross and Knights Commanders. Relatives of female members, however, are not assigned any special precedence. As a general rule, individuals can derive precedence from their fathers or husbands, but not from their mothers or wives. Knights Grand Cross and Knights Commanders prefix Sir, and Dame's Grand Cross and Dame's Commander's prefix, Dame, to their forenames. Wives of knights may prefix, Lady, to their surnames, but no equivalent privilege exists for husbands of dames. Such forms are not used by peers and princes, except when the names of the former are written out in their fullest forms. Furthermore, honorary foreign members and clergymen do not receive the accolade and thus are not entitled to use the prefix sir or dame. Knights and dames Grand Cross use the post nominal GCMG. Knights commanders and dames commanders use KCMG and DCMG. Respectively, companions use CMG. Knights and Dames Grand Cross are also entitled to receive heraldic supporters. They may, furthermore, encircle their arms with a depiction of the circlet, a circle bearing the motto, and the collar. The former is shown either outside or on top of the latter. Knights and dames commanders and companions may display the circlet, but not the collar, surrounding their arms. The badge is depicted suspended from the collar or circlet. <laughs> Popular references In the satirical British television programme Yes Minister, Jim Hacker MP is told an old joke by his private secretary Bernard Woolley about what the various post nominals stand for. From Season 2, Episode 2, Doing the Honours. Woolley, in the Civil Service, CMG stands for Call Me God and KCMG for "'Kindly Call Me God' Hacker, what does GCMG stand for, Wooly Deadpan, "'God Calls Me God' Ian Fleming's spy, James Bond, a commander in the Royal Navy Volunteer Reserve RNVR, was fictionally decorated with the CMG in 1953. This is mentioned in the novels from Russia, with love and on Her Majesty's Secret Service, and on screen in his obituary in Skyfall. He was offered the KCMG, which would have elevated him from a companion in the order to a knight commander in the order, in The Man with the Golden Gun, but he rejected that offer as he did not wish to become a public figure. Dame Judy Dench's character, M is offered early retirement and a GCMG in Skyfall after a series of unfortunate events resulting in the loss of a list that named every NATO espionage operative. Longtime Doctor Who companion Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart wore the ribbon of the Order as the highest of his decorations in the series' classic era. Topic. Current Knights and Dames Grand Cross Note, for clarity, the table denotes holders of the GCMG only, all other posts nominal shown, for respective members, are for the sake of completeness alone. Sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II Grand Master, His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent, 1967. Topic: Knights and Dames Grand Cross. Topic.
Topic: Officers. Prelate: The RT Rev David Urquhart, Lord Bishop of Birmingham. Chancellor: The Lord Robertson of Port Ellen. Secretary, Sir Simon MacDonald, Permanent Undersecretary of State, Foreign and Commonwealth Office Registrar, Sir David Manning King of Arms, Sir Jeremy Greenstock Gentleman Usher of the Blue Rod, Dame Deanne Julius Topic. Honorary Knights, Dame Grand Cross, GCMG. Topic: <laughs> Honorary Knights, Dames Commander, KCMG, DCMG. Topic: <laughs> See also. List of people who have declined a British honour Order of the Bath Order of the British Empire Order of the Garter Order of the Thistle Royal Victorian Order Russian Order of St. George